Hi, it's Liz. So this is a continuation of the previous video where I made this uh, Believe in Magic on canvas, a tearaway stabilizer, and some red embroidery thread. Now I want to try this on a piece of felt. So I've hooped up my tearaway stabilizer and I've put in a, a piece of white felt on it with some 505 temporary adhesive spray. I'm going to do the exact same design. You can do the wand, the, you know, the handle, uh, the swirl, and the Believe in Magic, all different colors, which is great options. I am limited on to what colors I actually have bought because I am starting off. I have ordered some more colors, so that's very exciting, but for right now, it's just going to be all in red. So the plan is, I'm not going to do the thick border on the felt. So this is an applique border. So first it did a stitch all around the edges and then it did another stitch over top of that and then it did my final edge stitch. So it was three parts where I could actually change color if I wanted to. So with my felt for my border, I am, once I get to my border, I'm gonna stop, put another piece of felt on the back, just like I would do for a felty. And then I'm going to let those two stitches, the border stitches run on the felt and see how that looks. I can also see on the first stitch how it looks, but I'm just going to be using it and it's an experiment at this point. So. so the words are all done. Now what I'm gonna do is clean it up just a little bit and then just the re really long threads and then Take some 505 adhesive spray, spray it on, and then I'm going to put it back on the machine and we're gonna do the first stitch to see what the border stitch looks like. So that's my 505 temporary adhesive spray. So my felt's on the back and you can see on the front, this corner is a little bit lifting up so I'm gonna put some more adhesive spray on there because it is gonna do the border so I want everything to be nice and flat. Alright, so that's one border. I'm gonna do a second one. We're gonna see how it looks. It's probably good enough, but let's do it. Okay, so it's all done. Now I'm gonna pop it off the hoop so I can rip the tearaway stabilizer. And then I'll cut a border around the red border. So very happy with the end product. It is nice. Definitely could have just done a white border, border as well, but I think it just kind of ties it in together. I was thinking if I did want to do like a placement stitch, because this isn't a real felty file, I could do um, the border. So this one as my first placement stitch and then just go ahead and just toggle to go back to the beginning to start it from the beginning. But I could do, I think it's number seven on the stabilizer first and then put my felt down so that I'm not having any waste for my felt. So final thoughts about it. It is, so like if I cut it really close to the border, it would be like five and a half inches by three, three and a half, something like that. So it's not, those aren't precise measurements. So if I was to make like a bigger one of these, there are, I think this one was like a four and a half file for the words or something like that. I can't quite remember, but I would have to think making sure that there's no like puckering coming up and just making sure that's really tacked in there. The whole file says it takes 17 minutes, but because I didn't do the final stitch, it said it was nine minutes left. So I think that's really affordable to make something like this and then you can make you know your unicorns and then your other magical creatures and make a set felt set for that so i think it's really fun and cute and you can play with all the colors so i personally love it and you can definitely make little sets for these you know with different magical creatures for your felt story so uh, you can see the red on the back and you can see it coming through on the other side but i don't think that's a huge deterrent i think it's nice it's got some good weight to it uh, way sturdier than just one piece of felt i would tell you so the only thing about these designs i just thought of is that i don't know 
know if they're still teaching cursive in school. Is that something that they still do? I guess they can ask you and they can start uh, word recognition in cursive, but that's just I don't know, something to think about long term if they're able to recognize it and but they'll they'll just ask anyhow. So it's not that big of a deal. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are making felties. Are you making felt stories? What are you doing in your crafting journey? And I shall talk to you later. Bye.